Texas Representative Mark Wayne Mullen joining us this morning. We're wrapping up a two-week trip here at home. One of the topics he's discussing is the Keystone XL pipeline, its impact on the state of Oklahoma. Appreciate you coming in this morning. I, I appreciate it. you got to give me a memo on the whole tie thing. I would have maybe thrown one on. Well, you got well, you, you, jeans, boots, jacket, white shirt, boom. You're there. Yeah, I'm man. good. Yeah, you're there right. already. That's it, right. We were just talking a few moments ago. One of the difficult things about now being in Washington, D.C. and working there, you just talked about all this rain, while well, it's nice to have, missing some of your kids' ball games. It's, you know, it's a bittersweet because yeah. um, we needed it, our hay pastures needed it, but I, it, with this break that we had, it was going to be perfect. I was going to get the opening games of my boys' baseball yeah. season, and it canceled both of them, and next week I'm in D.C., and I'm not going to get to see them. So it's I'm sure you'll sweet. be able to see them on tape or on a phone or something like well, that. Well, I think my wife is going to uh, do that uh, FaceTime, and uh, when he's at bat, uh -huh. and when he's in the field, he's going to be doing it. it. So, yeah, we're going to be watching awesome. it. Yeah. That is awesome. I know you'll be excited to see that. Keystone XL Pipeline, right. where are we and what's going on? Well, uh, the president has really ran out of excuses. Uh, the, all the studies that came back, the environment impact studies that came back. It's an all clear. Uh, the Senate has uh, supported it. They they passed measures that are veto proof. Mm -hmm. The House supports it overwhelmingly. Both sides is a bipartisan approach. Uh, just the president is still has the ear of the environmentalists and he's he, it's making no sense. I mean the, the president in one sense says he's got shovel ready jobs. Let's get the economy back on track. Energy independence, all the above approach. Everything he's saying is doesn't line up with what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go to the pro to the site which we had the opportunity to go visit during this break from Cushing on down uh, all the way to Houston the the amount of jobs that it's having an impact they're spending 2 million dollars a month in the state that they're working in right now. That's wow. just what they're directly spending. Talk about economic impact. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. And, and the, you know, the project is, is privately funded. There's no government money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's seven billion dollars just going to dump into our economy plus 20,000 extra jobs. There, I, I, in my mind, I can't wrap around why the president doesn't approve it. I mean, it's going to take over 800,000 barrels a day, which takes half of the oil away from the Middle East from countries that doesn't like us. Uh, plus. Plus, and we're buying it from a country that does like us, and we're going to develop it right here in our own country. Yeah. Um, to me, what the president is saying and what he's doing, it just it, it makes no sense. I mean, this is an opportunity for America and for our economy. All right, we're just about to, I just got to ask you real quickly, though, what happened in Arkansas with the leak and the oil coming out? I know it's a much older pipeline. Do you think right. that offers any more evidence for them as far as the economic, I mean, the environmental impact? Well, if you do the study of the amount of miles traveled with the barrels that are delivered versus the, pi the, the miles delivered by pipeline versus the ship and the trucks, mm -hmm. the percentage of spills and accidents is greatly reduced, I mean, to the fraction reduced. So what you saw is an unfortunate event, but you also saw Exxon respond properly and contain it quickly. All right. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming in. My Thanks pleasure. for doing your homework. Thank I you. I know you always do. Thank Absolutely. you, sir, very, very much.